I want to redesign the human hand. You see, um, this this hand here, it's really good. I mean, top marks, you know, this, there's no hand on the planet better, but it could be improved upon. You see, there's a, there's a legacy of evolution here. You're probably aware that uh, the pattern of bones in a human hand matches the pattern of bones in the hands and feet of all sorts of creatures. Indeed, your own uh, feet have the same bones in sort of the same order, in roughly the same shape, but the proportions and angles are a bit different. One is a um, a version of the other. A bat's wing, you're, you're probably aware that a bat's wing has the, the same bones in the same pattern and a similar arrangement, just again the angles and proportions are different. Um, and because of this we've got a thumb on one side, but we just, we've got no thumb on the other side. You see now, if, if we had a hand with a thumb on both, side, both sides, oh, we could do so much more. See, what, I, what I'm doing now, you see, now, for most creatures looking at me, they'll think, ah, oh, that human, that human is just showing off with humans and them, their opposable thumbs. Yeah, I'm doing something now that no other creature can do. A chimpanzee with its hand can't do what I'm doing. And I can hold things with my opposable thumbs against any finger in a very precise manner. But if I had a thumb on the other side of my hand as well, I could, uh, I could, I, I could, I could get a, a thing. Uh, probably a, a thing more interesting than this battery, but what the hell, I could get a thing and I could hold it in that hand and with the same hand I could be painting that thing. Wouldn't that be great? Just think how many more things you could do with your hand. You could hold a thing and paint the thing very precisely, moving it around with one hand whilst you, you look through the book or whatever with your other hand. Ah, oh, the, 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 the feats of dexterity that would suddenly become possible and strength. Now, Imagine I'm gripping this this uh, stick and you don't want me to grip this stick and, you're, stick and you're trying to wrestle it out of my hand. Well, there's a weak side here. Now, th this side, the thumb side, uh, you're very unlikely to break my thumb and, and cause my thumb to give way. That thumb is pretty strong. That's going nowhere. But this is what this is how you wrestle someone a stick out of someone's hand. You you go to the weak side like that. Or you, yeah, like, ah, you see? Can't hold on to it. But if I had a thumb on that side as well, then you're never going to get that stick out of my hand. You'd be so much stronger as well. So, I think we should redesign the hand. Now, is this going to happen sometime soon? Well, not very soon, I grant you. And But the advantages are so great that I think uh, people's um, initial... Uh, feelings of, oh, that's just weird. You know, I wouldn't marry that person because it's got funny hands. I think that uh, wouldn't last all that long. I mean, uh, after all, there are all so many things that we've got used to now. Um, laser eye surgery. I mean, can you imagine? Sorry, you're going to have what done to you? You're going to? No. But we're now sort of used to that idea. There are loads of ways that we can augment our bodies through using modern technology. I don't think it's I don't think it's that unfeasible that in a few centuries' time, people are going to say, well, yeah, let's have a thumb on the other side of the hand as well. It makes my hand so much more useful. Um, just think of the piano solos I could do.